Hey y'all, it's your girl here, it's Janae back with another video. So I did partner with Betterland to apply some clip-ins in my hair. I am using the Afro Kinky Curly Clip-In set. It is in 3C4A. It also has a natural color in it and it comes with 10 of the wefts. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I applied it. So I just attached it on there and I already redded the hair. So what I'm doing here is applying some Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Foamy Mousse. And I'm just applying it on my hair first. Then I go ahead and apply the tangle teasers just to detangle my hair. And I just make sure I hold it so that way the clip-ins don't fall out. So as you see, I'm using the orange perm rods. And I'm just wrapping it around very slowly, gripping it tight so that way I can make the curl pattern, you know, different and more straighter when it comes down to uh, unifying the curl. Yeah. repeat the same process until like it's like at least almost full on my head so again i'm repeating with the tangle teaser i do follow up with the dimming brush so that way i can also smooth out my curls as well and then after i do all of that i just made sure that my ends are smooth and like i said i'm just doing the same thing now i did work in sections because it's just so easy for me to do and i can actually manage my hair better that way because i have a lot of hair so as you see i'm just applying it on there and i just clip it onto my hair now i was like let me go ahead and think of something different so i did actually apply these clippings in before i would actually put the link up here and it came out so amazing i think i did like a twist and curl and i loved it so i was like let me go ahead and try at least a perm rod set I was a little bit scared because I was like, I don't know how this is going to be like my hair combined with, you know, the clip-ins. I didn't really know the outcome. And I'm actually glad that I took a chance because now uh, this is definitely it for me. Like, this is, like, I love it, y'all. So, yeah, it blended in really, really well with my hair. And it actually looked like my real hair as well. <laughs> As you see, when I place the clippings, I don't put it like all the way to my front. I kind of like move it back so that way I can leave room and also it can't be easily detected if you put it at the edge. So, you know, if you want your hair to blend in really well, I suggest, you know, move it back a little so you won't see the wealth if you try to put it in a ponytail or whatever. So this is the part where I got frustrated, y'all. Yeah, you see that. I hate when that happened. Like I had to start all over again. So like, let me go in and do it. And so you, you really have to be strategic, but anyway, so I'm doing the front part right here. So this part right here does not have the uh, wefts in, the clip in, so yeah. So this is how it looks. So I did actually sleep in these overnight, but I also sat on my hooded dryer for about an hour and a half. And yeah, the results is amazing as you see. As I unwind them curls, I'm like, okay. So yeah, like I said, I was like, oh, I didn't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm so glad. I'm like, yeah, I took a chance, y'all. I was like, this is gonna work, and it actually did. So I'm very excited. <laughs> So after I separated all the curls, this is how it looks. Like I told y'all, it looks just like my hair. Like it blended in really, really well. And it's so full. I love that it didn't have like the shrinkage I normally have. But yeah, look up close as you see. So we're going to go ahead and do some elegant natural hairstyles as you see in the title. All I'm doing here is gathering all my hair together. I am doing two ponytails. So I am using my hooked hair tie as well. As you can find that in my Amazon store link in the bio. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around just to create my ponytail. Also, I am applying some bobby pins in the front where my bang is so that way I can kind of lift it up above my eye because my bangs are a little bit long. And that's just how I actually create my bangs. So yeah, I styled it up and this is the first look. I love it. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and move to the second look. So I got a little side swoop ponytail. I add some gold hair jewelry. Kept my bang in the front and it's still a look. I love it, y'all. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the third look. So I applied my you know my hook tie again i wrapped it around so what we're doing is creating a high updo with the bang in the front and i'm just wrapping it around you know creating a high puff type thing and then i apply a bigger hair tie and i just kind of put it over like that and this 
is the final look i added some gold hair accessory i am so in love with all the hairstyles give a thumbs up if you like it as well check out my description box as i will have the link to the clippings that i actually got and thank you for watching bye